Hi guys, this is Dylan with AirDog. Today I want to show you guys how to adjust the fuel pressure on your AirDog system, whether it be an original AirDog, AirDog 2, or even a Raptor pump. I just want to give you guys a quick little how-to video in case you're curious on how to uh, adjust your uh, fuel pressure up and down. So we'll go ahead and start with the AirDog 2. So you'll need a 916 wrench and a flathead screwdriver. The regulator you can find here on the inlet side of the pump. So you'll take your jam nut loose and then you'll actually go clockwise to turn your pressure up, counterclockwise to turn your pressure down. Once you, you know, find your desired uh, fuel pressure, you'll go ahead and tighten the jam nut back up. So that's pretty much how you do it on these. There's not a lot to it. Maybe how you adjust the uh, fuel pressure on your AirDog 2, but I want to go ahead and show you guys it actually working in action real quick. Now that you guys have seen it on the bench, I want to show you simulating if it was in your pickup truck, how about this works. So I'm going to go over here, kick this AirDog pump on, give it a second to prime. We're going to go ahead and give the pump a little bit of deadhead pressure to uh, push on. This will be simulating like um, your, you know, your injection pump, you know, whatever kind of truck it is, injection pump, CP3 pump. Go ahead and build a little pressure. And then you can actually fine tune why your engine is running. You can leave the pump running, jump over, take your 916 wrench, take that regulator loose a little bit, a jam nut, and then same as right here whenever we were on the bench. You know, clockwise turn the pressure up, counterclockwise turn the pressure down. Real simple guys, once you find the pressure that you actually want, um, go ahead and like I, you know, like we showed earlier, you'll just tighten that jam nut back up. So now you guys are fully capable of adjusting the fuel pressure on your AirDog 2 fuel system. Alright guys, now we know how to adjust the fuel pressure on our AirDog 2. Before we move to the original AirDog, I want to show you guys on the Raptor pumps because it is very similar on how you're going to adjust the pressure. Um, on the older Raptor units and the factory replacement Raptors, it is actually virtually identical. It's the same, they take the same tools. The regulator looks very uh, similar. So you'll just take a 9 16 wrench here, take that loose, and then same thing, guys. Screwdriver, uh, clockwise to go up, counterclockwise to go down. <clears throat> Simple stuff here on these. On the Raptor 4G units, they do look a little different, but once again, same concept. You'll need a 5 8 wrench on these, take it loose, and then you'll need a 3 16 Allen wrench, clockwise to turn it up, counterclockwise to turn it down. Just wanted to show you guys that so you have an idea, uh, and you can check these while they're running as well as the AirDog 2 unit. So now you guys know how to adjust your AirDog 2s, your Raptor pumps. Let's show you on these older original style AirDogs how we adjust that pressure up and down. Now we have an original style AirDog unit. These units are actually regulated by behind the return fitting. Um, there is a ball and spring style regulator and the tension of that spring actually determines the positive pressure output to your engine. So to change the pressure, you just change the spring out. We'll take that fitting loose, have the spring first, then there's the ball that will come out. So grab our uh, 10 PSI spring here, I believe, stick our ball in, then the spring, and then reinstall the fitting. simple as that. I still do want to go ahead just like we did on the two. I want to show you guys on our test stand and actually uh, changing the pressure when we change the spring. Alright guys, and now I'll actually show you on an original style air dog unit. So we'll kick this pump on, build some pressure. We're at about 15 pounds uh, fuel pressure right now. So 
show you on the truck. You want to change your fuel pressure out. We have our 17 PSI spring right here. We'll go ahead and turn the pump off. Do just like we showed you over there. Unhook this return line. Kind of hard to do here. Not knock the camera over. Take our 7 8 wrench. Take that loose. Take that spring out. Replace it with our thicker 17 PSI spring. Rehook our return line up. Kick the pump back on. Now you can see our pressure's up about 17 pounds now. And that was the 15 spring, now we have the 17 pound spring in it. Simple as that, super easy to do. So there you guys have it. Now you know how to adjust the pressure up and down on your, whether it be an original style uh, or an Air Dog 2 style unit, you know how to adjust the pressure up and down. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel.